Are you expecting majesty? <clears throat> Are you expecting to see real majestic, sublime thoughts of happiness and joy right now? There are mountains of happiness and mountains of joy, majestic horizons of joy and happiness right now, ready for you. You need to begin to open up your expectations. We're going to get what we expect. If you don't expect to see it, you're not ever going to see it. So let's raise our expectations. It is also important to raise your expectations. Raise your expectations today and then get up tomorrow and raise your expectations again and again and again until you see all of the majestic nature and all of the majestic happiness and joy that is contained in God. God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, majestic joy. That's all. I mean, majestic joy, happiness, peace, and love. And if we raise our expectations that we're going to see it, that's going to open up the way for us to actually begin to experience it. Lift up your vision. That's why all through the Bible it keeps telling you to open, uh, lift. I will lift up my eyes into the hills from whence cometh my, uh, you know, my salvation, which, 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 from whence cometh all of my joy and happiness. You know, I will keep lifting up. I will say there is lifting up. It says I will have a vision because without the vision people perish. Without the vision, I will perish into depressive attitudes. I will, I will perish into sadness and lack of joy. But I will lift up my vision to see all that God is. I will lift up my vision to see all of the wonders of happiness and joy and peace, which is actually there, but I can't see it because... I cannot bring myself to lift my vision and my expectation to the extent of being able to provide a conduit for all that joy and peace and happiness. Oh, yes. I cannot believe it sometimes how much real happiness and joy is contained this very minute ready for us to receive this very second. Yes, my friend. Oh, my friend. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just stop and think about it. Just stop and think about all that is ready for you to receive right now. Yes, my friend. Just look. Sometimes when you go into an area of a great mountain range, just look. Up and see how high that mountain range is. Look and see how wondrous it is. And look and see how majestic and marvelous it appears. And how it's totally beyond anything you could have ever expected. If you've never lived in an area where there's mountains and all of a sudden you go where there's some mountains. It's totally beyond Anything that you could have ever expected in the majesty and the grandeur of all of the things that God has provided in the way of mountainsides and everything like that, lakes and streams. And, and just realize that the same is true in the area of happiness and joy. And all of it is available to you now, just as sure as there are those mountain ranges and those streams and those lakes. All of the majesty and grandeur to make your mind soar and to make your be more healthy and more energetic, to put thoughts on your mind which will cause health and energy to come out of every pore. All of that is available right now to you. It's all right there. But we have convinced ourselves that it is not there. 
We've let other people convince us, us that there is nothing there. We've let mass suggestions say, oh, you, you should not expect to have a very much happiness because the world is miserable shape, in a miserable shape, and a lot of people are miserable. And you look around and you see that a lot of people don't seem to have joy on their faces. So you say, well, I guess it's not intended that I have a lot of joy. I just have to accept things the way they are. But that is so very untrue. God really wants you to have overwhelming happiness and joy. God wants to cause your cup to overflow, not just be filled halfway, not just be filled to the brim, oh, but to be overflowing. God wants not just little streams, but rivers of living, immortal resurrection power to resurrect you out of all depressive thoughts, to resurrect you out of every sadness, to resurrect you out of every lack of peace and joy in your life. Rivers of living water overflowing your very life and your very thought. So that if you decided, oh, you, you decide I'm going to get a journal like this, you know, and you better get a hundred of them at once <laughs> because you're, you're going to run out quickly. And I said, I'm going to write down all the joys and the happiness that I begin to feel as God begins to touch me. And oh man, I tell you, you're just going to, it's just going to fill up so fast. That, and it's just going to be all full so fast. And then you're going to have to grab another one and another one. And you're never going to run out of all the happiness and joy that God gives you. And it's just going to go on and on and on and on. And, and then you start putting your expectations down. And you think, well, I just, you know, it'll just be three or four of them. But then you find again, oh, man, give me some more. Give me some more of these. And your expectation just goes and goes and goes. And every time you raise your expectation, God feels it. And you just cannot believe that every time you raise your expectation, that God gives you more than you expected. And that's just the nature of things. Exercise your expectation. Make it more, make it large, give, give, give God a large, uh, a, a large, put in a large order, put in a, a large, a, a whole large list of things that you expect God to do and take that before him and watch how it fulfills your list. <coughs> oh, yes, God is a God of fulfillment. God is a God of meeting expectations. Oh, it's why, oh, it's why, 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 <clears throat> do you have such a vacuum in your life and in your heart? Why is that vacuum there? Ask yourself, why, my friend, is it there? Such a vacuum, such a dearth, such a desire for joy and happiness in your life. You know, and such a, you, you're wondering why there's not more of it. It is because God has set things up that way that you would have a vacuum that was so large that it could be filled with all of these joys and happiness and that you could be, it could give you package after package that you could open and see more joys and more happinesses and more wonders and more majesty. And you would be big enough and your vacuum would be big enough to take in all of that happiness and joy. So it is time, my friend, it is time right now that you begin to fill the vacuum with all that God has for you. And God has marvelous, majestic things for you right now. Right now, God is ready 
to overflow you. God, now God has those rivers that are ready to run. Right now God has that ocean of healing power, that power to heal others, that power to be anointed with the great strength and energy to go on the mission field, the great strength and energy to start a large work for God, the great strength and energy to run for some political office. He, he right now, he's ready to overflow you with a power. You have the power to write, to compose all of these things. God is ready to give you such creative power that you cannot believe. But how can you gain it if you don't expect to receive it? If you don't look at that vacuum and ask yourself why it is there and what needs to be put there and how can I ask God for what I need? And put it down, write it down in that journal what it is you need. Every time you think of it, grab that journal again, write down what it is that's missing, what it is that you need, what it is that God needs to give you, and go to God and watch Him fulfill it. Oh, yes, He will fill every vacuum. Yes, He will fill every need. Oh, my Lord, it is time for God to fulfill your life. Let him fulfill them all. Pray. God fulfill everybody's longing, every last longing they have. God fill every expectation they have. God give them great power and energy to be creative, to compose and write and run for office and do everything that they need to do. Paint, compose. Oh, God, touch them right now with all thy power in the name of thy precious Holy Son Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen.